We're going to multiply a two-digit number by another two-digit number using the partial product strategy. We'll set it up similar to standard algorithm, but we are going to focus on the separate values of each digit in order to find our total product. So I'm going to start with the tens place on my top number. So we have a nine in the tens place. So that is 90, and we're going to multiply it by the tens place on the bottom number, which is 40. I would like students to write each of their expressions out first and then solve it afterwards. Now we're going to take that same 90 and multiply it times the ones on the bottom number or that second factor, which is five. So we broke up the 45 into 40 and five, and we broke up the 92 into 90 and two. So I used the 90, now I'm finished with that. I need to break, uh, I need to use the ones place, that two from 92. So two times 40, and then two times five. Then next they should solve each equation to find the partial products. So nine times four, 36, 10 times greater than that is 360, 10 times greater than that is 3,600. Nine times five is 45, 10 times greater is 450. So again, I see this is not lined up correctly by place value. This is 400s, but this is 3,000. So I need to rewrite that correctly so that my adding is not incorrect at the end. Next, 2 times 40 is 80. I know that's a two-digit number. 2 times 5 is 10. Last, you want students to add those partial products together, join them back together. Zero ones. We have five and eight is 13 plus one is 14. So 14 tens, which makes gives us an extra hundred. Six and four hundreds makes 10 hundreds plus one more is 11 hundreds or gives us an extra thousand. 3,000 plus 1,000 is 4,000. So our total product for 92 times 45 is 4,000. 140. We multiplied a two-digit number by another two-digit number using the partial product.